Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And I just want to sit down and tell you all a few things that you all might want to know or don't want to know, but I have to at least say it. My brother Felix Walls. My brother Felix Walls. Let me say some hell of a things about him and give you all a true story about him. Felix Walls and my father was, you couldn't get no title. And I want y'all all to know, both of them was from Arkansas. Felix Walls and Eddie Jackson both was from Arkansas. But I want y'all all so to know, my father picked four people to precede him after he went to jail. Courtney Brown was one. Felix Walls was another one. Understand this, Doc Gambino was another one. And Demetrius Holloway was another one. Understand, those are the four men my father picked to look out and take care of him going through our penitentiary. Those are the men, and I want to go into Felix Walls today specifically, because Felix Walls did 27 and a half years, and he will be out of jail Wednesday, will make four years. This Wednesday, coming up, will make four years Felix Walls has been free. And I want to say to all of all something in saying that because I want you all to know that. And then what I want you all to know is the family goes through that bit with him. So all 27 and a half years he did, his daughter did every day, minute for minute with him. Understand that it's the family sometimes that hold him up just like they hold us up. We hold him up. And understand this. Them brothers went in the penitentiary. Felix Walls, right now today, should have a law named after him for being able to give your family member a part of your body. If your family member needed a kidney and you in penitentiary, Felix Walls is the man who made it that you can give your family a kidney or anybody part you want to give if they need it and you are in penitentiary. Prior to him, that was not the law of the land. Your family could need your body part and they would never let them have it. And they match. They already know when you need a kid in your liver. So who the first person they go to? Your family member. That's the first person you go to. And Felix Walls made it a law. So I think we all should celebrate the brother coming home and congratulating. It's a wonderful thing, man. Because the family does all 27 years with you. Your daughter, right there with you. Just like I know this for a fact, the happiest day of our life be when our fathers walk out of that penitentiary. I ain't, can't tell you I can never really remember a happier day than seeing my dad walk free. Because every time I used to visit my father and I had to leave, I would cry. I cried real tears to leave my dad in that penitentiary. And it started from the time I was about five or six years old. The first time I ever visited him was in Terry Hut. And I cried. So I'm trying to tell y'all about the family. And we trying to put together right now a mean people. We want you all to be a part of it. Like uh, JB, JP, I'm gonna get the Cartman and Florin man right name in Detroit. J is PBJ, I believe, or J PJB. PJB, Florin and Cartman. I'm looking for all brothers who got any trades. We gonna have a cooperation. We're starting a company of black men. A million black men who could build a house for you if it needed done, if you need an electrician, if you need flooring and carpeting. We coming with a program now, a million black men. That's what we finna do. And a whole lot of people tell us, oh, y'all can't do that. Don't nothing hurt but a try. Understand you don't know what you can do if you don't try to do it. 
And they used to always tell me, and my father used to say this all the time, winners never quit and quitters never win. Get that because it might go over your head. Winners never quit and quitters never win. But I want to go back to Mr. Felix Walls now because we honoring him today. And I want y'all to know how much my father thought of that man. Felix said, man, niggas couldn't know how close me and your dad was, man. He said, man, as close as we were, niggas could know that. Because if a nigga said something bad about him, I let him know. And if a nigga said something bad about me, he let me know, hey, Phoenix, that nigga don't really care for you. He just running. And I would do the same for him. Hey, Eddie, that nigga don't really care for you. He's backstabbing you behind your back, man. So watch that nigga. So that's why him and Felix used to play that game with niggas. The two biggest niggas in the city was the two tightest niggas in the city. Know that. The biggest nigga in the city, Hammer Harrod, Harron was tight with the biggest nigga in the city handling cocaine. You better know this. And I want to say this. Brother Felix Walls was sitting in jail. And his mother came to visit him. His mother came to see him. And she kept asking him, Felix, when are you coming home? And Felix said the whole visit went through. And every time his mother had something to say, she said, Felix, when are you coming home? So Felix said, eventually, I, got, I said, Mama, what are you talking about? She said, Felix, when are you coming home? And he said, Mama, what are you talking about? And she hit him on top of the head just like this. That's what he said. He said his mother hit him on the head just like this. She said, son, you have lost your sense of direction. You are stuck here in this penitentiary and you think you're smart. If you're so smart, why have you lost your sense of direction? And Felix Wall's mother hit him upside the head and asked him, Son, you have lost your sense of direction. And understand that Felix said that fucked him up because he told his mother, my mom smart, my mom this, my mom that. She said, son, I know you're smart. I know you're brilliant. I know people love you. But son, you've lost your sense of direction. And you get out of this penitentiary and you come home to me. And you ain't leaving my house when you get home. This is what Felix's mother told him. She said, when you get out of jail and you come home, you ain't leaving me no more. You staying with me. Because I got to teach you a sense of direction. My son, you have lost your sense of direction. And I'm your mother. And I got to have you when you get out of this place here. You coming home to your mother. And you staying with me. Because I'm going to teach you your sense of direction because you done lost your sense of direction. And that's from Felix Wall's mother. Sense of direction. And that's where it comes from. It comes from Mama Walls telling her son that you are plenty smart. I know you from the time you was born, you my son. I didn't watch you build houses for all the people and fix rooms and anything, wire up a house. Anything, my son, the public, and my friends, and all the people down here in Arkansas needed you to do. Because Felix didn't like picking cotton. And he was going to be damned if he picked some goddamn cotton. One thing he said, he wasn't picking no goddamn cotton. And that's for goddamn show. Mama, I was not born to pick no goddamn cotton. And I'm not picking no cotton. But I may have lost my sense of direction you right about that but I ain't picking no cotton so I had to tell y'all Wednesday will make four years that the brother has been home after doing 27 and a half years and I have to take my hat off but I also agree with his mother all of you brothers in jail have lost y'all sense of direction and brother walls and mama walls mama walls is going to try to help you all 
find your sense of direction. We're going to help you find your spiritual side, your family side, and your work side. That's what sense of direction is. It's family, health, wealth, and your, 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 your religious health. It does not matter which religion that you choose. Understand this. It's not about the religion you choose. It's about the sense of direction that you take. Because if you sit it in with the right God, I already know you got the right sense of direction. Understand that. And I said it the other day. How in the world can Muslims and Christians be fighting if they both believe in the same message? I don't understand because you speak one language, you speak one tongue. You might speak, let's say, German. You might speak Italian. You might speak Chinese. But uh, if y'all are really working for God, it doesn't matter the language you speak because the language of God is love. That's the only language God knows. And I want to leave y'all on this and say congratulations and let y'all all know Wednesday is the day Felix Walls came home after doing 27 and a half years. It'll be four years Wednesday. And we say congratulations, we love you, and we happy you home and stay home. Understand, like Mama Walls said, find that sense of direction and try to help others find that sense of direction. So we got Mr. Walls leading the charge on this sense of direction coming from Mama Walls, hitting him upside his head, telling him, you ain't as smart as you think, son, because you're sitting here in this penitentiary cell, and I'm steady asking you, when are you coming home? Felix, when are you coming home? Understand that four years ago, and Mama wasn't home to receive her baby. Mama had went home to her maker understand that and rest in peace with all love from us all Mr. Mrs. Walls and we all going to try to find our sense of direction because we all have lost our sense of direction at a point in time so we're trying to put a program together a million brothers to help other brothers find their sense of direction we need mentors we need people to teach them how to do flooring and carpeting internal. Teach them and take them in turn and take them up under your wing and perhaps start another flooring and carpeting store. Understand that. Be an annex from PPJB. Understand that. Annex it and keep it alive forever. So people will be saying PBJ is who taught me how to do what I do. And he was a damn good teacher. A brother out of Detroit who started his own flooring and carpeting business. And that's what we need more of. Understand that we don't need more drugs and more guns and more killing. Time out! As they say, time out for the killing and the drug using and the misabusing of your own sisters and brothers. Understand that how can you say you love God when you do not love the brother whom you see every day and you've never seen God or placed your hands on the Messiah? And I'd like to tell you all something about Brother Felix Walls, Brother Eddie Jackson. This is a cup that my brother Courtney Brown Jr. gave to me. If y'all could see the insticniated is sterling cereal and brass. But if you could see the insticniated on it, it says, Mr. Big. This is the cup that Courtney Brown Jr. gave me after I stood in his wedding. Couldn't miss it for nothing in the world. He gave me this cup, Mr. Big. And I'm showing y'all this cup really for a reason. I ain't never in my life asked anybody to call me anything other than Eddie Baby or Eddie Jackson Jr. Mr. Big, all of that. Jimmy, Jr., all Craig, all of them used to call me Mr. Big. 
I never asked them. They named me that. I didn't name myself. They named me that. I didn't buy this cup. He bought it, Mr. Big. That's what they used to call me because they say I had big ideals, big dreams, and big plans. And I still have all of those things. I got big ideals, big dreams, and big plans, Mr. Big. It's just not in the dog game anymore. Understand that I was Mr. Big there too. And I had a good time and I did my thing. But that is time out. I told it's time out, baby. We going to get a million men to find a sense of direction for all men and to get some of these brothers out there penitentiary cell like Owen Israel Hawkins. As I say every day, free Owen Israel Hawkins today. Free Owen Israel Hawkins today. And I want to tell y'all one thing, if y'all will take a minute, about Owen Israel Hawkins. Because I've been studying him pretty hard. When I'm backing you, I study you. Owen Israel Hawkins Company, Delaware North. And he had a company out of Kansas City. And uh, the company is still out vibrant. I need y'all to know this. Owens Hawkins is in jail and this company's still rolling on. Delaware North. You can buy it today. And that's what Owen Israel Hawkins is asking y'all to do. Support his company because his idea was legit. Just like Bugsy Siegel. All these wonderful people. Owen Israel Hawkins' ideals are very legit and the man is brilliant. And we got him sitting in jail and his company is still rolling right on along. You can buy a share of Delaware North today. And I'm going to buy a few shares of Delaware North today to honor my man, Owen Israel Hawkins. I got to spend the same $100 that he asked those church women for. I'm going to invest that same $100 because I don't think he robbed or stole anything from anyone. So I'm going to invest in his company because his company is still being traded on the stock market today. Understand that while he's rotting away, his company is still being traded. So I'm buying some shares of Delaware North. Connected out of Kansas City with Owen Israel, other company. He had two companies, Delaware North and another company, and he was trying to merge them together. And somehow, he had all the paperwork legal in order. And somehow, all of the paperwork was legal in order. Everything about this case stinks to the high heavens. Everything about this Owen Israel Hawkins case stinks. Take a look at it for yourself. But the presentation is too long. So I'm going to sum it up in an 18-minute presentation. I'm going to take the highlights of the presentation that his rap brother did, understand that, who is obviously still out here on the streets running the company. And he's the one that's telling you to buy some stock today. Delaware North, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to invest the same $100 that he asked all of those church women to invest. And they ain't lost nothing. So all of y'all who invested in Owen Israel Hawkins Company, hang on to your stock. Because I promise you one day, it's going to be worth a lot. Mark my words. And I can tell you simply how the shit going to be worth a lot. And I know what I'm talking about when I study something. Owen Israel Hawkins had two companies. Delaware North and the one in Kansas City. He's trying to merge the two together. The one in Kansas City wasn't worth shit. Delaware North had all the diamond mines, all of that shit. So whenever they make Owen sign off on all this shit, because Obama, they asked him for a pardon. I'm going to ask Donald Trump if he make it to the White House. Because Donald Trump seems like he's going through what Owen Israel Hawkins is going through. And I think Donald Trump will have an ear and a heart to listen to the man's story and listen to what happened to him. And I want to remind y'all of one more thing. Brother Felix Walls will have been out of jail four years on Wednesday. 
four years after doing 27 and a half years. And I want y'all to know all the people who helped him get out. Donald Trump, Kim Kardashian, all of these people helped Phoenix Walls get out of jail and they was on the Let Phoenix Walls Go team. Kim K was on Phoenix team. Donald Trump, who was president, was on Phoenix team. But see this no good Judge Roosevelt, a Roosevelt I think, which is the name of the judge who fucked all over Phoenix. And then here was the catch, and I don't want to rehash too much, but it is about Phoenix, and I want to tell y'all all 